clicks and combat systems, fluentfighting.com. Starting a new thing here, and I'm going to be answering some of the questions that I've gotten over the years since I've been dominant in the counter violence, zero distance warfare, real fighting <laughs> for those who have to really solve problems self protection, self defense, uh, a lot of names some differences really but anyway so some of the questions that I've gotten I'm gonna start answering them here on video and put them out I've gotten lots of strange questions and some good questions over the years one of the ones that I will tackle first is that I've been uh, asked recently what do I think of the dog brothers now are they antiquated uh, it's that's really kind of a good question because the dog brothers started many years ago and they started with a purpose to see what would be uh, functional with sticks and what would not be functional with sticks because with the Filipino they're basically Filipino martial artists trained that way what would be working when you really had to fight because there was a lot of patterns and they didn't really want to just do the patterns they did practice a lot of things. they're basically from the Danina Santo blend the La Costa system and then also with the uh, Bikiti Tercia Kali they were very uh, influenced by that since those were the major influences of Filipino uh, Eskrima Arnis and Kali because of the Stockton Filipinos used the word Kali which they do not really use in the Philippines so there was a limited amount of input so those were the major input anyway they wanted to see what would work so they started having uh, basically full contact matches wearing fencing masks um, different gloves sometimes hockey gloves street hockey gloves uh, those was like groin protection but that was about it really basically <clears throat> and they would go at it and um, these weren't professional athletes uh, none of these guys were professional fighters that should be said uh, years ago years and years ago they this is back before they became the worldwide global brand because of Mark Denny branding everything and starting franchises that people uh, obviously pay to get into. The factor was they were still in the parks in California, uh, still having their gathering. Well, they weren't even gatherings at that point. They were just having their fights in parks. And they invited me and uh, one of my training partners to go out to California, which is about at the time was about 2,000 miles from where I was living. I was a professional fighter and so was my training partner. And, and you don't get professional fighters for nothing and then think you're going to make money off of them, which is what that was because it was part of the Panther filming that they did. Joe Jennings, Mark Denny had talked Joe Jennings into filming uh, real contact stick fighting, I think that's what they called it <clears throat> at the time because he had been Paul Vunak's manager <laughs> for a while. Anyway, uh, lots of connections. You can see talks about that, the Jay D'Amato talk. I had interview with Jay D'Amato. Uh, he's influential in everything. Talks about those connections. But anyway, so are they antiquated? Well, <clears throat> like I said, they started out with a really good idea, a real good premise. Let's see what works and let's start doing things and modifying things because in combat, you have to evolve or you perish. One of our sayings that we had in combat JKD for 30 years, evolve or perish. So they started going really well. They were very stick oriented and uh, they always were saying that though no, the stick represents the blade, but it really does not ever equal a blade. And so uh, very good uh, presentation of using sticks. They got very good at the outside game extremely good at the outside game uh, they'll crash in and then they'll start grappling because the guy started going to uh, jiu-jitsu classes uh, machados originally I think and so they wanted to start using it on the ground like I said none of these guys were professional fighters they weren't boxers or kickboxers uh, they didn't have that they weren't uh, you know they weren't catch wrestlers either so they're working on all their stuff putting it together and uh, they developed their attributes, but they didn't come to the game like Olympic athletes with a fighting background, so it was vastly different because there was no money in this. <laughs> if there had been money in fights, I would have been out there <laughs> among a bunch of other people that I knew because, you know, uh, 
it changes the game. Money changes the game. It changes the level. The level goes way to hell up when you start introducing money. Anyway, <clears throat> so they did this and they became very popular. And uh, Mark Denny, you know, did his thing about promoting and branding and steepling and every talk he does. You know, it's just sort of uh, showing his self authority, his, his nonverbal all the time. And his overly wrought lexicon for things instead of just being clear and concise that's the lawyer thing to to obscure things and make it seem like it's more complex than it is anyway that's all plays into the why it might be antiquated well anyway so why is it antiquated i i kind of agree with this guy who wrote me and said you know don't you think it's antiquated and the reason why it is is because you've got people who are now doing you had people doing uh, historical European martial arts, which the Dog Brothers didn't really ever play with very much. They've got a few guys in Europe. Some of them do it, some of them don't. But they never had somebody who was really, you know, developed in that area for 10, 15 years. And there are guys who do uh, fights in that. And there are guys who've done the Minster, the Minchur, that's, uh, man, I'm trying to pronounce it like it's French, it's German. <laughs> anyway, the, the saber fights, when you, when you put leather and mask yourself on, there's a sharp saber in Germany, it still goes on now and then. But beyond that, then you start having European martial arts coming back with armor. And these guys, of course, the armor costs a lot of money. They are fighting, okay, the, 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 the uh, blades are not sharp, but they are beating the hell out of each other. And there are several leagues now. Uh, armored League is our armored combat. There's a couple other ones. There's this like League of Nations or something where they, have, they even have melee. So this is closer to real combat than what the Dog Brothers are doing. And when you're using a blade, there is no playing games with a blade because the crashing in that the dog brothers like to do when they feel overwhelmed and they come running in basically like that like a, like they're diving in more or less they take hits sometimes on their arms now if you take that with a blade your arm is gone and you're, you're bleeding so th there is there's some con conceptual ideas that are very important to the real fight meaning you cannot absorb a blade plus uh, they are coming from, the Dog Brothers are coming from a slashing background because it's the Filipinos are, are from a slashing angular uh, attempt. Whereas European developed into a thrusting point on. You cannot just come diving into me when I've got four feet, for example, of Toledo steel. You've just killed yourself. So you cannot, you cannot come across like they do. When they get overwhelmed, they come, like I said, diving in. That will get you killed. And historically, uh, in the reenactments with armor on, trying to crash in like that, in desperation, to try to, to grapple, is going to get you hit with uh, not just the blade, but with the pommel, with the pommel coming up. And also, when you're dealing with armor, uh, depending on the level of armor, the armor itself, of course, is a weapon, and the shield is a weapon. It's a major weapon. So that cra that crashing in, that diving in, is not going to work. It's one of their bigger moves. Also, uh, absorbing things. Like you'll see some of the guys absorb something that come in. You cannot absorb a thing against the blade. You cannot. That is the end. A really sharp blade. Even uh, without the armor, some of those, uh, the long sword, it is death, and the moves of the longsword are deceptively fast. Real fights were very quick because when there was a connection, then there was a, a, a riposte, to use the French. There was a riposte, there was an echo that was immediate, and that was it, basically. Whereas with the sticks, uh, there are some people who can do that. It's a really high level. But the return shot is not the end of the match. It's not the end of the fight. So antiquated uh, in the sense that the Dog Brothers paradigm is not equal to the paradigm of the blade and the armor. And these people are practicing it. Uh, it's much harder when you're in armor, even though some of the armor is not that heavy. Uh, it's a misconception thinking that the armor is 50 pounds or something. It is not. 
uh, you can look on a lot of YouTube channels. There's a lot of historical guys who are very good. Uh, they're not good fighters, but the, like Meta, Metatron, I think is his fake name. He knows his stuff. Can he fight? I don't think so. You know, I, I wouldn't bet on it. But he, uh, he can tell you about the armor, the weight, the movements, all that sort of thing. The uh, factor, like I'm saying, is, yeah, I think they're antiquated because the paradigm is a good paradigm. But you need, like they say, like they thought they were moving on from what they were taught with Filipino martial arts to, to a reality. You need to move past that reality and go, go to the European bladed uh, reality because this is being done. There are people who are doing this, just like the Dog Brothers started, and they're huge, and they're guys fighting each other with sticks uh, in gatherings in different places, you know, all for, all for, actually they're paying to do it, <laughs> then it gets sold, you know, so you're, you're being a shill, basically. You can go, if you're good enough, in the armored and make money in it. That level is much higher. Those guys are more serious about what they're doing, too. Uh, I'm uh, not taking anything away from some of those guys in the Dog Brothers who uh, basically revolve their life around the stick fighting. But stick fighting is, is an artificial construct. It's not going to happen. You know, it's not what happens in mob scenes. It's not what happens in violence. You don't see it anywhere. Uh, the, blade, the blade action uh, and armor is an artificial construct also, but it's closer to letting you know about... The realities of life and death because it's very quick and I've lived in many places where machete attacks uh, happen in mobs and that is definitely a melee situation uh, with armor with everybody around you you can get some sort of operational experience in that the one-on-one -on -one, uh, fights with the dog brothers thing is not that so I'm saying Good idea from the Dog Brothers, yeah, and I applaud what they've done and how they've advanced people and they've eliminated a lot of people's theories and said that doesn't work, you know, this is what works, but they're stagnant. And yes, it's antiquated because they need to make that jump and say, yeah, let's do this now. Let's take it another place. Let's not just be these guys who carry around rattan sticks. Uh, and they do some other weapons, but uh, staffs, but they're not taking it, you know, if you want to take it to a higher level where it's more serious, your focus has got to be better, your footwork has got to be flawless, flawless, and you cannot try to cover your mistakes by rushing in, that is a blade. Those are with blades and with thrusting blades because you cannot cannot try to come in on, on someone who can cut and thrust. And that's why the Europeans use it anyway. So this is uh, Christoph Glugson for Glugson Combat Systems, FluentFighting.com. Keep those uh, questions coming. I mean, I get a lot of strange ones. Like I've had this one many times, like what is the best weapon to use against zombies? Well, as much as everybody wants to kill zombies, I may tackle that. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so like, share, and train like share and train okay so uh, check us out on facebook uh, the website fluidfighting.com and there it is yes you can get everyone more upset with me i said the dog brothers need to up their game they are antiquated as my uh as the person who asked me the question uh, and really basically said it to me and then said do i believe that yes yeah i agree with you okay so until next time take care train for reality you're not going to hit me in a sport fight for your life.